There is no greater pairing than a good burger and a cold beer. Are those my words? No. But do I believe in that mantra? Yeah. How do you like yours, Clark? Oh, medium rare, a little pink inside. Oh, you're fine. Light or dark? Oh, uh, either way, it doesn't matter. You guys, hello, my name's Sean. I'm the maitre d' here on this channel. And today, those words spoken to start this video, made possible, written by, this video created because of Mr. David Black. <laughs> Would love to see you create the ultimate Ely burger. If you love a burger and a beer, give, give me, me a hell yeah! yeah. LOL, exclamation <laughs> I don't give a damn. David, thank you so much. As a lot of you know, I grew up with the meat man, Ronnie the Butcher, Ron John Ely, my dad, who is the world's greatest burger maker, the beef shaker, the protein taker. God, how do you do this? <laughs> the more you drink, the less unbearable this all becomes. So why don't you go ahead and- I think you've had enough, Peter. Yeah, you don't know. Get away, I, I know my body better than you. David lives in Ohio, so naturally I had to go with an Ohio microbrewery. This is Jackie O's Who Cooks For You, one of the greatest breweries and beers in the game. Shout out Athens, Ohio. But no, if you followed my journey on the internet or just my life, uh, I like a very simple burger. I don't like a ton of, I'm like that with pizza and burgers. I traditionally, I, there's exceptions, but I, for me, when I'm making it for myself, what am I not gonna be lazy? Jump cut. Beef, cheese, some mustard and mayo, a little bit of heat, a little bit of onion, done here. We are done here. <laughs> Gotta make it though. So David, I'm gonna show you what I do in my house when I make burgers. A lot of this stemming from how my dad, growing up, I have like such vivid memories of my dad standing at the kitchen counter and he would mold his 80-20 his beef into like these little rings and he would stack them so he had a bunch of patties. And then as I got older I realized, I kinda took that and then I would make balls of beef and I would smash them because we didn't really ever do smash burgers at home. I feel like everybody in America grew up just having the normal circular patties, like almost like what a burger would be like at a Chili's <laughs> or an Applebee's. Like that traditional style burger which is amazing. I just want more patties and I want it thinner and crispier. It's amazing what burgers look like when they're done because when you start with this brain, it doesn't look great. Right before we started this video, I cut up a white onion. I love to use white onion in this recipe. I did a fairly large onion. So I'm gonna do probably just half, half of this and save the other part. And then today we are gonna make a burger, a double smash burger for Allie. So we're not gonna use the Serrano pepper. Today I did chop up some Serrano, I love it. A lot of people use jalapenos. I've kind of fallen in love with Serrano's the last couple years. So a little bit better taste. And some of them are still very hot. So I'm gonna make this first, the little mixture of meat and onion and sauce. Make Allie's patties and then make mine. I've been using soy sauce as kind of the like liquidy base to make this. I'm gonna use Bashan or Bashian? Bashan. Bashan? It means granny, like grandma in Japanese. Bashan. Bashan. Anyways, thanks to Billy Noss, I've been obsessed with this stuff, so it's kind of very soy saucy, so I'm gonna do that today. Put that there. Couple pinches of salt, a little crack of black pep, a little garlic powder. Wash your hands thoroughly. You touch stuff. And then I like to get right in there and like really mix it up, break it up. You know, it's just when you cook a lot, you kind of realize how great hands are. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Like truly, you could use a potato masher if you wanted to, like an old ice cream scoop, but there's something about old one through 10. That Japanese barbecue sauce, like soy sauce, just smells so good. Kind of massaging all those seasonings in there, kind of standing up, little crouch move, looks, looks weird. Looks weird? Washing my hands again. Reason is I kind of want to use a little bit more sauce. And we're back in. <laughs> so I pick up, basically making like four big patties. So I want a loose ball like that, a loose ballage. Okay, boom, loose ball. Don't pack it too tight. Now I can throw my Serrano's in the gorgeous color. We're gonna kind of work that into this meat so I can get a little bit of that heat. Oh wow, he did it on accident. Like a little ball, look at that. See a little ball? You're so creative, looks like Play-Doh. 
that you can eat. Which, we all ate it, let's be honest. We were curious. <laughs> Set these over here. Okay, so check this out. I have one of these like smash things. <laughs> smash. It's like a griddle that you can put right on your stovetop. I probably lived here a year and a half before I realized this was underneath in like the drawer, and it's awesome. These cook really fast, so I'm gonna throw in some fries. Not a ton, just some for the burger, maybe a couple to snack on. I really love fries on my burgers, and I do it at home. I'm not afraid to admit it. So I'm gonna start these 375 for like 10 minutes. And then I'm also a simpleton when it comes to buns. I just like a traditional, traditional <laughs> sesame seed bun. I also don't love talking right. So I have those at the toaster at the ready. Part of me thinks that Allie's probably gonna want a single burger and not a double. Double elements. Burger press, oil. I think I can help with that Pam Pan situation. Pam. 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 With There's an M. There's a D on the end. There's no D. You want to get this thing nice and hot. The rule I've kind of used is if you can't keep your hand over the heat for like five seconds, it's ready. Ah, yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Guy likes a little pain. I like this guy. This is just who I am. Smash City. Are we cooking good looking? Lip? Oh yeah. I'm about cooking. American cheese, duh, double. Just the way that cheese melts all over that burger. Sometimes with this thing that I have, I can't smash it down as much because it's only so wide. One day I wanna have like a whole griddle grill <laughs> situation going on. Burgers are done. I'm gonna build alleys and then I'm gonna whip mine up real quick and then we'll get to eating. Duke's mayo. I used to be so anti murder and a burger? Mayo on a burger, and I don't know what happened, all of a sudden I love it. Maybe it was Burger King. Honestly, I think Burger King, or was it Wendy? Who did it where I was like, oh yeah, I really like that. All right, I confirm with Allie, she does only want one. These came out a little thicker than I wanted, but I'm really here for the taste. <laughs> Still thin. Some crispy, seasoned fries right on top. And then the best mustard in the game right now, the Sir Kensington's yellow mustard. <laughs> Little top. I'll show you on the other patty. I didn't really show you on the first one. Look at that crispiness, like on the bottom of that. It looks kind of like dark on the screen. It's crispy. And this is just really the Ely Burger. I mean, it's just very simple. Bada boom, bada bing. What do we say? Doesn't it look good? Don't you think maybe we could find us a brand new restaurant? So for batch number two, I divided them up into four. So I took those last two balls, and I made two balls, four balls, so now we have four patties. These babies are done. Elements off. Move, bitch, get out the way. All right, hear me out. I normally do a double burger. I kind of, because I made those patties a little smaller, I kind of want to do <laughs> I don't want to do a triple. <laughs> I've never done that. What if we put 
See, this is really a Neely Burger, is just improvising and doing dumb things. What if we put fries between every layer? This is like a Dave's triple, but it's a Sean's dumb. I kind of like these smaller patties, just. <laughs> Why not, right? A triple cheesy mayo mustard fry burger. Like truly, why not? This is just gonna be a sloppy cheesy mess in the best way. All right, David Black, thank you for bearing with me on this one. Look at this monster. My first triple. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, look at that beefy baby. Oh my God, it's so good. There's something about cooking the peppers and the onions in with the beef that just makes it that much better. There's so much going on. Obviously all that cheese is great, but man, the crispiness of the fries, there's a good amount of heat in there. Oh yeah. This is what you need to do. Like you turn a thin smash burger into a thicker burger, but there's so much more crispiness throughout it because there's three edges, as opposed to just one patty with maybe some edges. Are burgers really just all about edges? So, so good. So David, I gotta ask, what's on the David Black Burger? What is like your foray into making your own? I also very quickly wanna go back to Donationville, say thank you to D. Cohen, Gary Clutch Clark, Ethan Evans, the legend, the goddess, Jesse Moths, and the last but not least, Megan Jeffries. Thank you so much. Some were super chat, like super thanks, little thanks button. Some were Venmo, some were PayPal. To all of you, thank you. What is it about the little parts of the burger that kind of spill off? It kind of ended up being the best. What if they just had an appetizer at a restaurant that was just like a burger just cut up into a bunch of little pieces? Burger bites. <laughs> it's like basically what sliders are trying to be, but what if it was like a one-biter? Almost like a Chick-fil-A chicken mini. Mm. You can't have one. There's so many things on here that stand out that go well together. The Duke's mayo, so much twang. The Sir Kensington's mustard, so much zip, a little bit of a punch. And the Serrano peppers like still maintain their form. They're still crunchy. The onion's kind of caramelized. Mm. Last bite, truly fantastic. We Vanna Whited that burger, gone. David, thank you, buddy. I'm gonna finish this beer, get out of here. That's what I would kind of do on an improvised like game day Sunday if I was making burgers. I would kind of follow that trajectory and then go based off kind of what I want. Serrano peppers kind of coursing through the nose to the ears, nose, throat. <laughs> what am I Shoulder cracked weird. A triple Ely burger up, a triple Ely burger down. Love you guys. Welcome to another episode where Sean makes me lunch. I mean, this looks incredible. Like, even this side might look even better. Like, I'm always down for a cheesy burger. It's good. <laughs> That's got heat to it. Yeah.